I know this looks like another book haul. Well, that's, I mean, that's because it is another book haul, but like, let me explain. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and do not change the channel. Do not try to fix your television screen. Your, the title was correct. It's another book haul. Look, look, look. I can't help it okay it is what it is I buy books every month I try to stop myself it doesn't happen I have no self-control we need to get past that like really I need to get past that and just know that it, it happens I would say I am more a book collector than a book reader because I collect books faster than I read them so it's what it is this book call is mainly romances there may be like two three thrillers at most I will do the thrillers at the end so we're gonna start off with the romances we're just gonna get into it let's go let's do this book haul oh, full disclaimer before I start also I don't know what a lot of these books are about I don't know so I link them down below for you guys always so you can do your own research so you can decide because like a lot of times books I buy because I think I'll like them from like a quick synopsis or a review from someone else and I just buy it so sometimes I know sometimes I don't but that's okay the first book in this book haul is none other by Candy Steiner and there's going to be a few in the in this uh book haul because she had a sale on all her books last month on Amazon so I kind of went crazy but this one is Weightless by Candy Steiner I don't know like I said I don't know what this is about it's a romance look I don't need to know oh hello Hello, are you going to help me? Do you know what the book's about? Because I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this book's about. But it's a romance. And that's all I know. That's all I care. Look, Candy Steiner, I would read like a paper bag. I would read the back of a paper bag if she wrote it, okay? It doesn't matter what she writes. I will read it. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be a little angsty you know, put me in my feels because that's what she does. But the cover is gorgeous. I love all her covers are gorgeous. I'm going to say it for every one of them, but gorgeous covers. The next book is On the Way to You by Candy Steiner. This is a road trip book. I do know it's about a road trip and these two are going to fall in love on the road trip. Look, that's all I need to know. Like I told you before, I don't care. I don't care. I will buy the book. I will buy the book. She can take my money. I don't care. But again, the cover, the cover is stunning. Like she nails it with the book covers. But yeah, I don't know what this is about. I mean, I did at the point when I bought it because I read the synopsis, but now I don't remember. But it's okay. The next book I have is called Scandalized, and this is by Ivy Owens. I found this at Walmart. I would really appreciate if Walmart started selling matte covers, but we're not going to ever get that, are we? So I'm going to have to put this over. But I don't remember what this book's about either. We're off to a great start. You know, we're off to a great start. Three for three, not really knowing what the book's about. But I know it's, I don't remember, I think it's like a second chance, which isn't always my favorite. It's either friends to lovers or second chance. It is childhood. It is childhood friends. So is it friends to lovers? It's fine. It's fine. I'll, I will grin and bear it, but hopefully it's good. Then I bought the American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. Katie, have you read the Spanish Love Deception? No, I have not. Why'd you buy the second book? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I do what I do, but I did. I bought her second book, but I haven't read her first. So I don't know what it's about, but <laughs> I really need to stop myself. I, I am a terrible person, but a romance, I'm assuming, and the roommates. That's all I need to know. That's fine. You know, I'll read them eventually, but for right now, just having them makes me feel happy, you know? Yeah, could not tell you what this is about, which is why I always link them down below for you guys. Because you know you're gonna watch me because I'm weird. 
Not because I know what the book's about. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? We then have another candy Steiner. Surprise, surprise. This one is Say Yes. And this one just like, even if it's not like in fall or involves fall, it reminds me of the fall, which just makes me happy. So I, again, I don't know what this is about. Yes, I do. 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 Yes, I do know what this is about. So she is in a foreign, she's like in a foreign exchange program or she's like studying abroad or whatever. And something happens to where like, she's told she's uptight or something. Someone tells her you need to go say yes. Just say yes to everything for the night. So she goes, meets this guy. And of course she has to say yes to everything. So they have like this unforgettable night of doing stuff. I, I remember what something was about. Holy crap. But <laughs> the premise sounds amazing. Like it's something I would love to do, but I, w I never will. But I will live vicariously through my books. Yes, I will. So there's this one. And again, the covers. I just can't. The covers are gorgeous. The next book I have is The Score by L. Kennedy. This is book three of the Off Campus series. This one we're following Dean. Is it Dean? I'm pretty sure it's Dean. Dean's like the man whore of the group. <laughs> to put it nicely, he that's what he is. And he always has, um, you know, these girls come into the, the house because they live off campus. Yeah. And all the boys are on the hockey team. If you don't know what the series is about, it's pretty much a sports romance series. And if you don't know, now you know. But like, you should already know. <laughs> But there's eventually there's going to be this one girl that Dean's going to want to get with and the premise of the book. So there you go. But I've read the first two, still need to read this and the last book. But I'm just taking my time through them because it's not something that I like have to fly through to know what's happening. These are just cute, like, you feel like in a reading slump because they're really easy reads. So this is why I haven't gotten to it yet. The next book is Mixed Signals by B.K. Borison. Look. I am a sucker for covers. I will say it 5,000 times on my channel. If the cover is cute, I will buy it, take my money. This author writes, it's the Love Light. No, it's not Love Light. That's the first book. Love Light Farms is the first book. But I don't know if that's like the series or not. But her covers are just always so cute. And this one involves a bakery. Baking, bakery, love. I'm there, sign me up. So I actually won this one <laughs> off of Instagram. And then I have another one in here. I'm pretty sure that's another book in the series. I think there's three in the series, but the first one I know for sure is Love Light Farms, which is like a Christmas book. And then there's this one and then the next one, or it's the next one and then this one. Don't quote me, I'm not for entirely sure, but I think that's how it goes. The next book is another Candy Steiner because this should just be a Candy Steiner haul. This is Blindside. This is the discreet cover. And I know you're like, Katie, what do you mean the discreet cover? You love men on the cover of your books. And I do. Like, full stop. I will totally always buy a book with a man on the cover. I enjoy a nice man on the cover. But for the, I just don't know what it is. This cover was speaking to me more so than the one with the guy on the cover. So I got this one instead. But this one is a fake dating friends to lovers type ordeal. Um, these, I think he's the football player. She does something with the team and she likes someone else. And he wants to get his ex-girlfriend jealous, so they fake date. And as they're fake dating, he realizes that she is inexperienced and doesn't know anything about anything. But she loves reading romance books. So he gets one of her romance books out, and he's like, this is what you're into? And he's like, I'm going to try that out on you. And if every guy would just, like, take notes, take notes, because... I'm just saying life would be so much more fun that way. Anyway, you know, they're going to get together. It's a romance. I don't, it doesn't matter. Like no spoilers. We just know. So I'm excited to read this. 
The next book in this series comes out this month, October 17th, 19th. I feel like it's one of those. And then the first book is Fair Catch, but I don't have those yet, but I do have this one. So I look, I am just, I'm, I'm so ready just to like binge Candy Steiner. It's not even funny. Speaking of, we've got Manhattan, we've got Old Fashioned, and I'm missing one. There's another one, and I'm not sure if I already hauled it, but it's called Neat. They're all whiskey names. So smart, I know. So this series, there's four in the series, and each book is following a different brother. They all have different tropes in them, and I can't remember. It's okay. It's small town. It's all you need to know. I Have I read? No, I have not read any of them yet. Do not look at me. Do not judge me. I will get to them, but I just needed the whole series so I could binge them. Now I do, and now I can binge if I would like. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Here's the last one. Well, actually, this is the second book. This is neat. I was like, I couldn't find it. I was flipping out. I You you didn't see it because I just, you know, edited it all out. But I was freaking out because I didn't think I had it. So, neat. And then I think it's old-fashioned. And then Manhattan, but I, no, I think it's actually Manhattan and then Old Fashioned. And then the first one's On the Rocks. All whiskey names. Brilliant. 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 And then my last Candy Steiner, I do believe, is The Wrong Game, which is a sports romance. That's all I know. Nope. Know nothing else about it other than I love her coverage. So that's <laughs> like, just let me be the president of our fan club because at this point it is what it is. I then won this book and this is the benefits of love by shawnee ham and it's actually signed in here and this is a friends to lovers book which i didn't again you know me and friends to lovers i'm not a biggest fan but when it's done right i enjoy it and i enjoyed this one and you're following oh my god but i can't remember their names because i already read this <laughs> um Zach? Yes. Zach and Laura. They are friends and they met through mutual friends because Laura's friend wanted to get her with her boyfriend's friend, which was Zach. They met. It was a miscommunication. They both thought that the other ones didn't like each other. So they just became friends. And then one night they go out to dinner and the other friends can't make it. So it's just them. And things start happening and comes out and then they hook up and they're like, hey, let's just be friends with benefits. So they do. And they're like, we'll do it with no strings attached. It's going to be great. No, it's not because we all know how, how it happens. We all know what happens. So this is what this one's about. This is actually book two, but I haven't read any of the other books. So I'll have to check them out and see if I like them as much as this one. I then got The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees or Lice. I don't know how you say her name. I hear everyone say Lise, and then I heard it's not how you say it. We're going with Lise, though. She wrote the Berkman Brothers series, so this one's just a novella. It's Christmas. It's steamy. What else do you need? Nothing. Like, <laughs> Christmas and steam? Like, come on. So, it's probably like an office. Is it an office? They're in a library. So, a library romance. It don't matter. I'm going to read it anyway. The next book, Love Light Farm. See? I told you, I knew I had one of the other books. This is Love Light Farm. So this is the first book in that kind of series from this author and it's Christmas. It's Christmas and it's romance. And again, that's all we need to know. That's all I need to know. Like basically I'm a sucker for Christmas, romance and cats apparently. I then got Sally Thorne's Angelica Frankenstein makes her match. No, I have never read a Sally Thorne in my life. No, mm, nope. Why'd you buy it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but I did. So maybe I'll get to it, you know, at some point in the month, you know, was it on my TBR? No, but it could be. I am a mood reader. It could very well just show up on my list. I then also won Defiant Heart by Britton Walsh. This is the first book in, what's your series? What's the series? Starlight Cove? I'm pretty sure it's Starlight Cove. 
but I read it, I loved it, I talked about it in last month's wrap up. Yeah, it was last month's wrap up. Um, it's signed, brilliant, small town, grumpy sunshine, enemies to lovers. Absolutely loved this book. It's very rare that like I haul a book and that I've already read. This is a monumental occasion, I'm just saying. I then got the last book in the Element series by Brittany Cherry, The Gravity of Us. I now have all four. I can now binge it. I can now look at the guys on the cover anytime I want because the covers are brilliant. Again, like seriously, all these covers on these, they're so good. They're, they're just so good. But Dawn, I don't know if this one's bad. I know they're all small town romances and that's like all I need to know. Sometimes I just like going in blind with like every freaking book I own apparently because I never know what any of them's about but that's okay. I have another Candy Steiner. <laughs> I have one more Candy Steiner and this one is Make You Make Me Hate You and this one people say <laughs> is compared to A Love Letter to Whiskey in the in the premise. So if you've read A Love Letter to Whiskey, you know, like, right person, wrong time. So apparently that's what this book is about. But people, some people enjoyed Love Letter Whiskey more. And I haven't heard too much about this one. So I'll be interested to know, like, y'all know, I love love, ooh, love Letter to Whiskey. It's my favorite book of the year so far. So like, it's got big shoes to fill. So we're going to see we're gonna see how this one does but like again the cover the covers like i love her covers if you didn't know and then oh oh hot dane i have all the books in that series and i didn't even know like <laughs> this is in the weeds by bk borison so this is the i'm pretty sure this is the second book in the like love light farm series do i know what this is about mm -mm, no but i put it on my wish list so I could have the whole series. And now I do, and now I can read them all. But apparently it's gonna be probably like a flower shop. That's what I'm assuming with the flowers. I could be totally off base and I probably am, but that's what I'm going with. That's what we're, you know, deducing with that. So those are all, nope, those are not all the romances. I got two more. We've got Taken by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. This is a mafia romance, and I don't remember which mafia it is. It could be Russian could be Italian, could be German. Is there a German mafia? I don't know which one this one, Polish. It's something, but it's okay. I just wanted to like read just one of her books to see if I liked it. Um, a lot of people like the series. So I think there's four, four books, going to be five. And then the last romance in this haul, and then I have four thrillers is A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. I have read Julie Murphy books before. I read her If the Shoe Fits, which is like the Cinderella retelling, and I've never read a Sierra Simone, but I know she writes steamy. And that's all I care about, but this is going to be like a holiday romance. Look, okay, this was like a complete, complete cover buy because I had no idea what the book was about. I had no idea. And frankly, I still don't quite, I think she is an adult film star and she's plus size. So, you know, we love that. Um, she's an adult film star and she gets cast in like Hallmark movie-esque type, you know, the ones, yeah, you know, the ones. And her love interest knows her, knows her, you know, because he's watched her films. So it's awkward. It's awkward, but like, it's fine because it's love. It's love, it's romance, and they're gonna get together, it's fine. But what really sold me was the cover because don't mind the glare from the ring light, but that cover, it's gorgeous, it's cute. It's everything that I need at Christmas time. White, pink, red, foil, I love it. And the next books are thrillers, I have four of them. So if you're not a thriller person and you only stayed around for the romance, thank you so much for watching this video. But let's get on to the four thrillers that I have. The first one is All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson. 
This I just found with the Goodwill and I read his A Kind Word Killing in January and I'm like, I'll try a different one. We'll see how it goes. Um, but this one is this man goes home after his father dies and his stepmother is acting really strange, like kind of coming on to him, acting really strange. <laughs> um, so not no, I don't know why she is or what's going to happen, but I'm intrigued just by that alone. So, you know, we're going to see how it goes. I've only read one of his books, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be like a complete fan of his yet, but it was only $1.99. So, and then I am so excited for this book. Okay. So last October, I read White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Loved the book. Wasn't a fan of the ending, but that's okay. Um, this year she brought out The Weight of Blood, which is a Carrie retelling. Say less, like say less. I am so excited to read this. Like this was, I got this after my TBR video. It don't matter. I'm going to fit this in somewhere. November, December, like I will read it in Christmas. I will read it at Christmas if I have to. I just, I'm a fan of her writing. I just want to see how she's going to remake, you know, and, or like retell Carrie. So I'm definitely excited for this. I then got All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. I'm pretty sure this is a debut novel and it's about people or kids. This woman lived in this town. People went missing when she was younger. I think she comes back and people start disappearing again. So she's got to figure out, okay, what's going on here? Because <laughs> I'm the common denominator each time someone goes missing. I don't know if she's I would think that. I don't know if she did. But again, I've heard nothing but good things about this, especially for a debut. So I'll be excited to get to this. And then the last book was just a random impulse purchase by at Walmart. And it is Good Husbands by Kate Ray. And this, my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. And this book is about three women who get letters sent to them by this woman. I think it's just one woman who is accusing their husbands of um, assaulting her years ago. And these women don't know each other, but they soon get together. They find each other and they're trying to figure out, okay, what happened years ago? Is it true? What's going on? So I figured, oh, it's like a domestic thriller. Sounds good. Let's put it in my buggies. So that's what I did. So those are, you know what, I'm going to do my one more because it's not going to make sense to do it next month because it's November. Um, I'm going to do one more. So we've got Haunting Adeline. I have been wanting this book for freaking ever. I've just been putting it off, reading it because like, I'm like, can it live up to the hype? Can it? Probably not. But yeah. So finally, I was gifted this from my wish list. Like I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Like I'm, I'm both. Like I, uh, we're gonna see. We're just gonna go with it. Like it's a big book, so she probably, she as in me, is probably gonna read it on the Kindle because I read a lot faster on there. But I got it, and I'm just excited. We're just excited. We're gonna give it a shot. So that's all the books. That is my book haul. You're like, did you get all those books in one month? Yes, I did. Like, don't judge me. <laughs> like, don't judge me. Don't shame me. It's fine. Like I said, I collect books a lot more than I read them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new and would like to join the family. I would love to have you. All my social media is linked down below as always, my Goodreads and my Instagram if you ever want to stay more up to date with what I am reading. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. How do I still talk for 29 minutes? How? What is my life? I don't mean to do it like oh my there, there's no way I cannot pick all these up I can't do it they're gonna fall and I'm gonna cry and I'll just come around you that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna I know you're gonna sit on the books brilliant move 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 I need the other books move 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 okay it says I don't even know what it says because I can't read because I don't have my glasses on so you're just gonna do get it you're gonna have to look it up yourself because I'm not doing it right now <laughs> I'm not doing it right now. Which, did you hear that? I heard that. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs>